There's nothing like a bowl of hot soup to warm your soul. Hi, I'm Karen Ahmed and welcome to another episode of Cravings Vlog. Today we're making my all-time favorite soup, hot and sour. Let's start with the stock. We're going to need two liters of stock. Now this can be your homemade stock. You can get it out of a can or a package or you can use these little stock cubes. I'm going to use the stock cubes today and I've used two cubes per liter. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Now, if you're feeling a little bit guilty because you haven't made your own homemade stock, don't worry. Just take all of the leftover bits and pieces from all the vegetables that you cut and just throw it in the stock and let it simmer. Let's talk about all of the ingredients in the soup. We have so many ingredients and each one adds to the layers of complexity of flavors in this soup. I'm gonna start with minced ginger and garlic. Now I finally minced this as fine as I could. And I know you're looking at me and saying, you know, what's the, what's the alternative? There is none, suck it up. Cut up some fresh ginger and garlic. You can substitute the burst of flavor that you're gonna get into the soup. Don't use bottled ginger and garlic, it's not gonna work. Uh, next, I've also chopped up some spring onions. I've chopped up about 12 bulbs and and then I'm going to saute some ground chicken. I've got about half a pound of ground chicken and the ground chicken is just going to soak up all the flavors like a sponge. Next, I'm going to add about five tablespoons of ground chili sauce or sambal olek. Now, while this might seem a lot, remember we're using two liters of liquid. So the five chili spoons of chili sauce isn't gonna to be too spicy at all. And I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of ground pepper. I've also got half a cup of fresh mushrooms. I've just chopped it up really fine. I'm gonna give it a quick saute. Then we're gonna add the stock that's been simmering back into the pot. And I'm gonna follow it with some canned shiitake, or um, you can even use uh, the dried version. Just soak it up in some hot water, cut it up and add it to the flavor. These mushrooms give an amazing flavor to this soup. I'm gonna follow that with my secret ingredient, which is chopped up coriander stems. Not the leaves, the stems. Now, while you're thinking she's using stems, most people just throw these stems away, but they have got a ridiculous amount of flavor in them. Now, chop them up just like you would chop up chives or any one of those herbs, and just chop it up really fine and add it into your soup. Once all of that's in, I'm going to add in some julienne of carrots, bamboo shoots, and some firm tofu that I cut up. And I'm gonna flavor it with some dark soya sauce, rice wine vinegar, and I'm going to thicken it up just a little bit. I've got a slurry of cornstarch, just about two tablespoons of cornstarch. I don't want the soup to be really gloopy. You see sometimes in restaurants when you have the soup overnight in your fridge and you look at it the next morning, it just looks like a big lump of gloop. I don't want that. Um, and then I'm gonna add in some egg and I'm just gonna uh, use a fork and stir it around just so you get those beautiful little egg ribbons. And finally at the end, we're just going to add in some fresh coriander leaves that have been chopped up and some spring onion leaves that I've reserved. And we're just gonna add that in at the end as a garnish. So, let's get started. Let's saute four tablespoons of minced ginger and garlic in a couple of tablespoons of oil. Next, let's add some spring onions. I have about 12 bulbs and I've only chopped up the white parts. I'm going to add half a pound of ground chicken. Just break it up with the back of your spoon and squish it down so there's no lumps. Once the chicken is cooked, we're ready to add the hot in hot and sour soup. Five tablespoons of ground chili paste or sambal olek. Now, like I mentioned before, this chicken is going to soak up all the flavors just like a sponge. We're also gonna add a tablespoon of black ground pepper. Add half a cup of fresh mushrooms and give it a quick saute. And we're ready to add the rest of the stock. I've got two liters of stock that's been boiling away. I'm ready to strain that right into the mixture. And once that's done, I'm going to take all the additional vegetables and discard them. Give the soup a really, really good stir. 
And after that's done, we're just going to bring this to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, let's add about 300 ml of canned shiitake mushrooms and then my secret ingredient, coriander stalks. I've got two tablespoons of finely chopped coriander stalks. This adds an amazing flavor. Add one carrot that's cut in julienne, four tablespoons of canned bamboo shoots that's also cut in julienne, and finally some tofu that's cut in julienne as well. Give this a good stir and then add in three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar and three tablespoons of dark soya sauce. Next, we're gonna add a simple cornstarch slurry to thicken the soup. Two tablespoons of cornstarch just mixed in with some water, just add it right into the soup. And finally, garnish with a quarter cup each of chopped coriander and chopped spring onion leaves. The hot and sour is ready. I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely delicious and it's got layer upon layer upon layer of delicious flavors. Now, if you want to make a vegetarian version of this dish, all you need to do is use vegetable stock instead and don't use any egg or chicken and you can achieve the same kind of flavor. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time on Cravings Blog and please subscribe to my channel. I'm always trying out new recipes. Please share it with your friends, like it, comment, let me know what you're looking for, let me know what you think of the videos. Thank you so much. Take care. Until next time. Bye. You make me smile, you trust me, proud you make